Good morning. I wanted to start today by congratulating the staff and the pupils on an excellent first half of term. There are so many things to celebrate, lots of sporting success, the drama is well underway and in full swing, uh, the music on show at the Harvest Festival yesterday was something to behold and hopefully you'll manage to see some of that for those of you who can attend the carol service um, or the tea time concert that we have planned for the second half of term. Um, lots of great stories about learning in the classroom and just a really good feel around school. So staff and pupils deserve a much deserved rest in the, in the half term coming up and hopefully you'll come back ready to go for the second half of term. Now, learning is very much about feedback and I know that firsthand. Last week, I got home on Friday evening and my wife said to me that she'd watched my blog and she said it in such a way that made me think she certainly had something to comment regarding my blog. So after a little bit of to and froing, she, she pointed out that the reading a blog or reading something uh, direct from a script has never been my forte and not something that um, is something she would recommend for me moving forward. So after much deliberation, I'm going to try a new tack this week and, and try and deliver something more off the cuff, um, but with a topic that's a lot easier. Um, we've had a member of staff who's been with us for 20 years now. Mr. Mitchell joined us in 2003 and he's, he's been part of so much in his time at Kingswood House and it's fitting that we should make this week's blog all about him really. So in the last 20 years, I shared this with the pupils in the Harvest Festival Assembly when we said our farewells, that there's been so much change. I believe the, the Nokia phone was the latest phone out. Pupils had no idea what a Nokia phone was or many of them. Um, I'm sure many of you parents will know that. Um, we used to send voicemails to one another, as in leave a voicemail for one another on a phone as opposed to texting. Um, frightening stat that uh, we've, had, we've had, I think, is it six or seven prime ministers? Donald Trump was appointed president, which I think you'll agree has changed the face of politics forever. Um, a long way back, but uh, we, you, could, you could smoke, not that I've ever smoked, but you could smoke in a restaurant. And so going out for dinner or going to the... Going, to, going out, out to a, 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 a social event, you, you come home smelling of smoke. And I said that to some of the pupils and they looked at me a, a bit strangely because thankfully smoking doesn't seem to be something that's very common now. Um, but that came in in 2007. Um, you can watch TV now without watching adverts. You can just, you don't have to wait, you just fast forward. And the world has changed a lot. Um, I believe we were listening to music using a Walkman. Uh, maybe even a, a personal CD player. Now, I, I don't think the kids would manage to, to, to listen to music without actually speaking and saying, Alexa, play this, or Google, play that. So the world has changed a lot. Um, Mr. Mitchell has changed a lot at Kingswood House School. He really has. He's been part of so much change. When he joined us, we had, we had temporary classrooms. Mr. Mitchell and I joined at the same time in 2003. We had temporary classrooms, uh, those of you who remember, they were black huts. There's a painting in my office um, of, of actually the last, the last picture I can remember of seeing black temporary huts, which were built in the 70s. And they were finally taken down sort of in, in the late 2000s, uh, so 2007, 2008, I believe was the date, but they came down and we put in, we started to put in new buildings in place. And I'm sure you'll agree, we've now got state-of-the-art classrooms and facilities uh, to rival most schools of our size. So he was instrumental in that. He worked closely with the architect uh, to make sure that we had every provision for the success of each child who comes through the door. Um, later on, 2016, we went to um, 16 plus, And as you can see, we've made a huge success of that. Again, the planning and the detail, attention to detail that the leadership team, but driven by Ian, um, has made a huge success of something that was so important to the development of Kingswood House School. Uh, we then went co-ed in 2021. Um, obviously, Ian has seen in the first set of GCSEs by then, and all the, a lot of organisation goes into that. And the first, then we went to co-ed in 2021. And again, so much planning, so much involvement, and so much uh, credit needs to go to Ian for all, all of that work. Um, he came here as head of sport. He still has a huge interest in sport. Um, and the co-curricular programme is very much down to Ian's input as well. I mean, it's a whole team effort at Kingswood House, but uh, when I was reflecting on the work that Ian's done over the last 20 years, you can see evidence of, of his huge contributions to so many aspects of school life. Behind the scenes, 
enormously um, and then but when you dig a bit deeper as well you can see how much input he's had to every aspect of school life. Um, trips are something that are very close to Ian's heart. He designed from scratch the making of modern Britain trip and it won a national award which he went to go and collect with his wife Karen I believe went with him to collect that um, and so that was something we are very proud of and he is very proud of and actually as you know is something that he's going to take forward to a wider audience and we wish him all the best with that. To finish with I think what epitomises the reason why I've enjoyed working with Ian for so long and He's not just a colleague, he's a friend, and he will be in the future, and I will always keep in touch with Ian. But Kingswood House, we talk about caring for individuals, and we talk about having a rounded approach to get the best out of every single person in the school community. Ian epitomises that. No problem is ever too small, whether it's a pupil or a staff member who's got something wrong, Ian will listen. He's in tune with how people are feeling, and he always has been, and he might actually identify that there's something wrong before that person identifies it themselves. Uh, they're trying to mask that, but Ian will pick up on it and Ian will put something in place. He remembers the important things, which is so important. Um, he doesn't hold a grudge. Uh, I'm sure Ian and I have had many run-ins over the years, but um, he's never held a grudge and he's, he's a good guy and he's contributed so much to the school. Ian, it's been a pleasure working with you and we wish you all the best and please keep in touch. To everyone else, I wish you a happy half term. I hope you get some rest and come back raring to go in the second half of term. Take care.